All right, we have got Dan Gallery here from Gallery Carts out of Colorado. And we are just thinking in terms of business in the pandemic and the way that food service has been just so much affected. It's kind of accelerated the need to have flexible options, portable options. So first of all, Dan, let's, let's hear about um, Gallery Carts. This, this actually is a family business, right? Your dad started the business? Uh, yeah, Tara, it is a uh, family run, owned and operated business that I started in about six years ago. Uh, but my father and my aunt have been um, running the company now for over 40 years. Um, primarily, like you said, in the mobile cart, kiosk, uh, and portables business. Um, all, all the time based here in Denver, Colorado. And for our listeners and readers and viewers, a lot of whom are um, on-site food service directors, and in particular in the college market, I wanted to focus on that because you have gotten some of these carts going on some college campuses. But before we go into that, I wanna mention it's kind of unique because they're electric, right? So tell a little bit about the technology that's at work here. Yeah, so we were able to launch a fully um, electric vehicle that can take food, uh, retail items uh, to consumers, students, uh, wherever they're at um, and be a completely self-sustained unit and help college universities actually hit some sustainability goals too. So a uh, fully electric vehicle get the, take food options safely, uh, health department approved to, to the students where they're at, where they're gathering. Nice. And you are able to customize these carts, right? In terms of the look and also in terms of what they're able to do, what types of food you can, you can serve on these, right? Can you go into that a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. We, uh, you're able to customize and suit, uh, serve food options ranging from pizza, coffee, bagels, um, really anything that can be prepared in a centralized kitchen uh, and, and packaged safely. Mm -hmm. Uh, can be put on board these units. Um, and then you add the option of their pulling uh, a fully customized vehicle wrap. Uh, vehicle wrap being, uh, you know, changing the look and color to, mm -hmm. to be a, basically a rolling marketing billboard. So now mm -hmm. you have the combination of being able to serve food safe. You have a marketing platform, branding platform that is generating revenue. So pretty unique uh, opportunity. For sure. And you have um, been working with Sodexo at a couple different college campuses. I know that um, for sure one of those is Salem University in Massachusetts. Is that right? That is correct. Yes. So what can you tell me about um, how you worked with them and, and what they were looking for and how you were able to help them put it together? Yeah, so, so Jason out there at uh, Salem University was looking for a, a, an option, right? In, in the pandemic world, uh, food service operators are really struggling uh, to, to figure this out. I mean, it's a tough environment. So they've had to simplify menus, um, and then they've also had capacity requirements in the traditional food halls uh, where folks would gather. So they've needed to take that food option out to the, the students. So Jason, you know, via the clipper cart came up a really great concept. Uh, we've given him a grab-and-go uh, refrigerator unit that he can prepare items safely in a, in a centralized kitchen mm -hmm. and then take it out to, um, you know, high traffic points, mm -hmm. uh, college events and stuff like that. And, and the other thing Jason's doing that's really unique is he's using the technology platform at Salem University to text out to the students what food options are on there and where the clipper cart is. Um, so he's got a great, great platform there at Salem. It's things working together. It's like their, their social media merging with these vehicles, definitely. And I've heard that they, they hold their charge for a really long time because I think that's what holds a lot of um, like Americans back about any type of electric vehicle. It's like it won't, it doesn't have the power and, and I have to keep plugging it in and, and whatever it may be. But it sounds like this is an extraordinary amount of time that these guys can last, right? Yeah, so we successfully been able to develop uh, a, a lithium based uh, powered solution um, that doesn't require any of the food, so food service operators to add a specialized charging station. You can simply plug our unit into a 20 amp wall circuit and it's going to charge. Uh, probably six to eight hours, but then once it's fully charged, it's going to be able to operate for at least six hours, if not 10 in certain some circumstances. So 
back to Salem University, um, that unit's going to operate for over eight hours um, mm -hmm. so, uh, on its own. Um, and then the vehicle itself, um, it, it can travel up to 50 miles. So, you know, Jason has about a five mile radius on campus there. So, you know, he can make 10 laps around the, the university without charging it. So, uh, oh, yeah. you know, it's a, it's a huge benefit that's going to last a long time. It's not, you know, you're not operating it just for an hour. We give, we give these guys operation of at least six to eight hours. Okay. And they can go on the road too. So that's, that's something where it's not like this is a trailer that you're pulling. Like they're, they're legal to go like on the streets. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we just, exactly like you said it, it's a legal street vehicle that is uh, mm -hmm. basically we'll get a license plate uh, on it and registered and insured just like you would a, a normal small vehicle. Nice, nice. And what are some, these had been, because your company had primarily been a little bit concessions oriented. So you've seen that there's a need in colleges. And I was think I was just thinking out loud, just in terms of more of our readers, like what about for a healthcare setting or maybe in senior dining like that? Have you thought of any other like kind of applications for it or maybe even K through 12? Yeah, we've gotten interest um, for the electric vehicles really um, running a broad spectrum anywhere where um, folks need to take uh, food safely to outside of a centralized kitchen where people would normally gather, it will work. I mean, uh, you talk about K through 12, we've had some interest at um, some of the larger elementary schools um, that have centralized food halls, um, you know, uh, healthcare, university campus. I mean, Anschutz campus here in Colorado is a massive campus. Um, they're able to, and they're thinking about moving that um, into a couple different locations to be able to provide safe food options for, for folks. Um, so the opportunity um, and placement of these are, are really endless. And the key feature is this, is you can take them, back to your statement about a legal uh, street vehicle, you can drive these right inside uh, a convention center or an airport. We've, we've placed oh, okay. them in those places as well. So you can go indoors or outdoors, which makes it very different than a normal standard food truck. Um, yeah, they, yeah, so maybe like a colder climate type campus where they they want to continue to use this through the winter maybe if they have a place where they can open up the doors and just park it in there yeah yeah exactly i mean you go back to sodexo with salem uh jason's talking about an ice cream one and you know salem's up there and in the in the northeast it gets pretty cold up there mm -hmm. um so he's like i'm not going to be out there on a, on a cold winter's night but i can bring it into the into a into a a stadium or arena environment and easily operate and serve a really unique uh, offering. So um, inside, outside, um, you can use it, especially because it's electric yeah. also. Yeah, and I just, I think people are looking for different solutions and different ways of serving because I mean, this, it's like this virus is gonna be with us for a while. So we're gonna have to get used to this socially distanced and like kind of being flexible and being on the fly so like having something that that is mobile is seems like a good way to go for that definitely yeah i i think it's changed uh the change really if we go back to colleges and universities it's changed the way students are going to interact with food on campus mm -hmm. uh we have we place some units down at embry riddle uh, we have three units at Embry Riddle in, in Arizona, and we were just talking to the operator down there, who's also a SEDEXO operator. Um, and they've now taken it to the dormitories at night, and they're offering folks uh, pizza from the unit. Um, and, the, and the key there is that now you've got students who uh, would have normally had to tramp across uh, campus to get to some food option. They have it immediately available in their dorm. They can come down, they can get it safely and go right back up. Um, so um, it, it, I think it's really changed. The, the pandemic has changed the way uh, students will interact with food. Um, yeah. But what it's not changing is their demand for high quality food. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's again, what we're able to do is that the food service operator can give amazing food options um, mm -hmm. in a safe way and deliver it right to the student. Cool. Yeah, just, I, I really like learning about innovation. And I think we are just about at our time, but we're definitely going to keep up with you and see what happens as the fall progresses. So we would love to have you back on the show too, if you'd like to come back. Absolutely. It's been great, Tara. This is, this is an awesome experience and uh, we'd love to come back and talk about more. Very cool. Thanks again. Thanks so much.